On a farm in rural southeast Ottawa, there are almost 40 dogs. They were unwanted, abused, neglected. Until one woman renewed their faith in humanity. This week, we think Timothy Walker's Amazing People segment has gone to the dogs. Really, Timothy. Kim? <laughs> <laughs> really. Uh, we went to Carlsbad Springs to find this amazing person and in the dog days of summer, found out that Debbie Moffat is often the last hope for canines in crisis. To an abused or neglected dog, this is surely heaven, and Debbie Moffat is clearly an angel. Linda, which gate are you coming through? The owner of Keshet Kennels started taking in abused Rottweilers. One thing led to another, and now 39 dogs live here. Some just for a while, some forever. I grew up where I used to come across cartons of abandoned puppies, and I used to bring them home, and my mom always said, when I grow up, I can have as many dogs as I wanted. Meet some of her canine collection. These are the dogs with disabilities who nobody wanted. And Bud. He bit someone when his owner died, and it was either death for him too, or Debbie's. Blue has paralyzing fear from something in her past. She's been rehabilitated and is one of many up for adoption. Others can't be adopted, like this Mastiff. But she can live here in luxury until the day she dies. I don't even know the dog, and I cry, because I may very well have been there last their last resort. Among them, these guys, three of seven sled dogs who were going to be killed by their owner. They had little contact with humans, but after months of training, they are ready for adoption. Dogs shouldn't have to pay for, for people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I want to give them every opportunity at a, at a good life. And, um, and our decisions are based on what's good for the dogs doesn't always make financial sense. Indeed, Debbie's kennel business can't support all of these rescues much longer. She's been renting out her barn, her property, and training ring to make ends meet. I have a tendency to wear my heart on my sleeve. <laughs> the hardest lesson I've had to learn is that you can't save them all. But she's hoping with community support for Keshet, she can save more of them and show them, for the first time, that human kindness is possible. <coughs> Kimothy Walker, CTV News. And we would like to thank Linda Santeski for nominating Debbie. And uh, next week, he had, it, he had it all. He had his MBA, he was living in Europe, he had a fabulous condo, and he walked away from everything to live out of a suitcase and build schools in Nicaragua. We'll tell you why. In the meantime, we'd like to hear from you. You can nominate somebody on our Amazing Person section of our website at ctvottawa.ca. There is a form there, and you just have to fill it out. We'd like to hear from you. Graham and Caroline. Thank Thanks, Timothy.